What is going on everybody and welcome to another brand new player review on the channel today and today we're going to be looking at the uh, Montreal Impact in Argentinian Cam Ignacio Piatti. I'm going to say he can also play at centre forward as well purely because of his work rates but he stands at 5 foot 10, 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, high low are his work rates which is what I'm talking about, he's very attacking and if there's one thing that he has definitely got it is a fantastic crew. Being Argentinian he can link him in with the likes of Di Maria, Messi, Aguero, the list goes on and on and on. And uh, price range wise on Xbox he goes with a between 12k and 40k and on PlayStation between 15 and 45 but I will say straight off the bat do not pay the top end for him he is never going to be worth it in a million years perhaps if you wanted to try him out try and get him for down below sort of the 15 12k mark and I'm pretty sure that should be achievable I know he's not going for too much definitely nothing over 20 anyway uh, getting into his in-game stats his base card 78 pace 81 dribbling 78 shooting 77 passing and 70 physical 48 defending and a 78 card overall and what you'll notice from that straight away is it's very average but very well rounded and when you're going into the uh, key stats and traits his key stats 83 agility is his highest card stats out of everything which is not the best he's also got 82 balance 82 dribbling and 81 shot power but when I say well rounded almost all of his attacking uh, stats seem to be around like the mid to high 70s mark so he's very well rounded he's just average at everything he's not fantastic at anything the one uh, speciality slash trait that he has got is the technical dribbler one and that is what this card is decent at he's okay at dribbling and passing other than that though very very average at, at best you can see the team that i used to him as a sort of mls team it's a team that i've been having a lot of success with actually without using him in it if that makes sense i'd used uh, the team of the season Dempsey card where he is and in his five games for me he got five goals and two assists which isn't a terrible return but like i say for me, he just wasn't doing it on the whole. He's just a very, very average card is the best way you can describe it. We'll start getting into some of his uh, clips now. And like I say, average is definitely the word for him. Jack of all trades, master of none. And for that reason, he's just like not a stand-up player by any stretch of the imagination. The other thing is, because he's in the MLS and he's average and he's a cam, there are so much many better options available. The likes of Kaka, the likes of Gerard, to name a couple there. But there's, there's more that just aren't coming to mind right now. And as an Argentinian, you've also then got the likes of uh, Di Maria, obviously. There's just so many better options, no matter where you're looking, whether it's for an Argentinian team, whether it's for an MLS team. There's just better than him, lads, to be honest. He doesn't stand out for anything whatsoever. He feels a bit sluggish. And it, I'd probably say he's one of the worst of players that I've done a review on since I've started doing player reviews, since back in the day when I did the likes of Bueno. But, um, yeah, he's just, like I say, all I can think of to say is just, he's, just stinks of being average and just... The only thing that he's decent at is dribbling, and even that is not that amazing, at, to be honest. So, overall, this card is very disappointing. I mean, I didn't expect too much from him, but, like, even when I used him, he just didn't feel that fantastic. So, if I suppose five games and two assists isn't too bad, but then again, you can just get so much better, like I've already said. But, overall, we're going to be giving him a 7 out of 10. I was very tempted to give him a 6.5, but I think as he scored seven, uh, five goals, sorry, I think he's probably very average rating for a very average player. I wouldn't recommend picking him up myself unless you're very desperate to try him out. And even then, try and pick him up for the lower price price range if you can. But, um, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Nidge out. Incident between Massa and Raikkonen. We just swooped down the inside all the way up to fifth place. That's probably the best first corner we've had on the entire series so far, thanks to that little incident. 